Well, I understand it is December, which is definitely not the nerdiest thing I've ever heard of. But I can't think of a better computer to participate with than the Tandy 1000SX. So I got a bunch of fun stuff going on. Uh, I might just talk about it as it comes up. I mean, the funnest thing of all is it's Tandy 1000SX, so we're already, we're already doing great. Uh, but we're running DOS 5.0, and it's going to kick on from our A drive here. We are next going to load the driver for my SCSI card, which I think is interesting. It is uh, from Corel, which I thought they only did software, like Corel Draw. But no, it turns out they did some hardware stuff, so... The Corel SCSI card loads first. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get a ROM on that thing, so we won't have to use the A drive at all. That'll be fine. But the second driver is for the zip disk. So, um, don't have the Palm driver yet. Palm disk driver, Palm zip driver. Uh, need a Model 1, so working on it. But, uh, yeah, everything from this point on is working off of our zip disk like a hard drive. So, that's my... That's my uh, quick fix for a hard drive, using nothing but original hardware from the time, well, you know, zip disk is probably the newest thing. But yeah, an old SCSI card and a zip disk drive, and that is, I think, a great complement to the 1000. So let's take a look at this thing. Let's get closer, actually. Let's calm down the brightness a little. So, a lot of fun stuff on this. I'm not going to cover it all. Windows 2.0 deserves its own video for sure. But, um, got a couple of fun things we'll look at maybe. The different GUIs I've got set up on here. Gotta have personal deskmate. And deskmate 3. And some shells. The native DOS 5.0 shell. And then Sidekick is a fun one, and Norton Commander. So, all fun and good, but we're here for some DOS action. So let's take a look at this 4DOS critter. Uh, the one drawback I'll mention about using these zip disk drives is when pinging the C drive here, uh, it has to go through all 100 megabytes for an 8088. That takes a while. So that's what it's doing now. I eventually I might put DOS 3.2 on here, which requires, if memory serves, 32 megabyte sectors, sections, I should say, I don't know, divisions. And that may, might, might make life a little easier. So anyways, here we are. Obviously, we have color. So this is, to me, the most exciting thing about 4DOS. Uh, side note. Someone else can explain all this much better than I. I'm here to share the excitement. So, uh, the color scheme I spent a fair amount of time on. You'll notice I have my EXEs in a bright magenta. I've got uh, my batch files in a green. So, everything's color coded to have things jump out at me that I use the most, like those EXE files. And let's take a closer look. And so just at a glance, it's so much easier to see what's going on in these files. And you know, like, oh, we got a bunch of EXEs here. Or, oh, we have a bunch of text files here. And the directories are in blue. So I just really like the way that this makes life a little easier to navigate. Look at all those directories. So really easy to see or get a feel for where you're at at a glance. It just, I think, is a really nice addition to anyone who's cruising through DOS regularly. So, anywho, uh, definitely not a flimsy excuse to turn the Tandy 1000 on, that's for sure. Definitely here to wish you a happy December, uh, which I do hope everyone's having a good holiday and winter season. So. Uh, I will see everyone soon, I hope.